Adam, uh, yesterday at the end of Mike Zimmer's press conference, he said that seven and nine was maybe the best you guys could have done with a lot of the things that gone wrong, uh, that went wrong this year. How does a, a quote like that sit with you? Uh, not really sure how to, how to answer that, to be honest. But uh, um, I mean, I think there was possibilities that we um, could have could have had a had a better record. But uh, you say that every year, right? Like you look back at games that shoulda, coulda, won, right? Um, but uh, but at the end of the day, your record is your record, I guess. So um, it is what it is. We got to move on and and figure out a way to to not let that happen again. Adam, what's your personal overall feeling? We were just talking to Afadi, and he said, you know, quite frankly, he's angry, and he'll need a couple of days, at least through the Super Bowl, to kind of decompress. How do you, as a veteran, handle it? What are you feeling right now? Uh, yeah, not not angry, uh, but uh, just uh, I'm I'm probably feel more excited than I do angry. Uh, excited to move on, uh, to uh, build off of what we what we've had this year. Um, obviously, it wasn't where we wanted to get, uh, where we wanted to go. It wasn't the goals. We didn't hit our goals, things like that. Uh, but there's a lot of exciting things moving forward. Um, and I think that's kind of what I'm looking at, um, you know, for myself personally. Uh, I'm excited to get back to work, uh, get back to training, um, you know, try to build on, um, you know, kind of uh, being able to get through the, the season healthy is always a good thing to just be able to now get back to training and, and, uh, and trying to gain and actually get stronger, faster, um, more athletic. Um, so, so I guess there's, there's some exciting things to look at. Obviously, yeah, disappointment, 100%. Um, as a competitor, uh, when you put in the amount of work you do as a team uh, together every single day, you're grinding out and you don't hit those goals, it, tons of disappointment. Yes, 100%, but uh, a lot of excitement looking forward to, to 2021. Adam, where, where would you say the offense um, is sort of the next um, step for improvement? Well, I think I think uh, you know in a lot of games this year we played really well as an offense. You know we were able to spread the ball around. Um, a lot of guys were able to to really help this this offense move the ball and score points, uh, be efficient, um, things like that. I think I think that there's a there's definitely room for improvement. Um, there's things that we could do better uh, to help this team win games. Um, and and excited to to work on those things this off season. Um, I think the first thing you have to do kind of what I've already talked about is look yourself in the mirror. I've talked about this pretty much every week throughout the season. You, you know, the first thing you do uh, after a loss or after a win, you look yourself in the mirror. Well, the first thing you do after a season is you look yourself in the mirror. You say, what could have I done better? Um, you know, what, what do I need to work on this off season? What do I need to, um, you, know, you know, I guess feel more comfortable um, with uh, and, and work on those things so you can, get, you can come back a better player to help this team. Adam, when you consider what Justin did this year, does that raise the ceiling for this offense in future years? It does, for sure, 100%. I think um, when you have a guy that's, uh, that's that dynamic and that can, can be that consistent um, playing at that high of a level, um, it, uh, it raises the level of play from the guys around him. Um, you know, and he's that type of guy. He's that type of guy that, that raises um, the level of play around him because he's such a, a good person uh, on and off the field. Um, the way that he works, um, the way that he handles his business, um, it's impressive. So um, definitely raises the bar and excited. Like I said, that's, that's kind of the excitement that I get is excited to, to go into a new year with, with the guys in, in, in that room and, and, and on this offense, on this team. Um, that's what I'm excited about. Adam, you've been on teams that have uh, made the playoffs. You've been on teams that have not made the playoffs. Are you always surprised just at how close the line is between those two teams? And you know, just uh, how close that is? Yeah, for sure. I think I think that's what um, you know when when I, you know going ending my eighth season, um, you realize uh, I talk about this a lot to the young guys like before the season OTAs things like that. Is you realize <clears throat> number one how hard it is to win in this league. Uh, number two, uh, you know how hard it is to make the playoffs. Uh, sometimes you uh, you make the playoffs for a couple of years in a row, or you've made the playoffs a few times in your career, and you kind of you know kind of kind of get used to it. But uh, at the end of the day, you, you know seasons like this remind you um, that it's not easy. Um, you have to have things go your way. You have to have uh, the ball bounce your way a few times. Um, you just 
uh, you have to play well week in and week out to have a chance to make the playoffs and to make a run and, and to accomplish your goals. So um, it definitely uh, makes you work harder. Um, it makes you trust the process. And, um, you know, I think that's what kind of drives me in the offseason is knowing how difficult it is to have success in this league. Yeah, Adam, Adam, how, how, quickly do you bury, how quickly do you bury a bad season and act on the excitement that you're talking about? Uh, today. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, it's harder. Um, it's harder when, when obviously you, you lose in uh, the NFC Championship game or you lose in, you know, last year in the playoffs. Um, you know, I think it's harder to get to move on quickly after something like that. Um, you know, obviously this season with, with, you know, last week not, you know, playing for a playoffs, things like that. Um, you had time to kind of process that. Um, and now, and now you're just excited to be healthy, uh, to to be able to train. Like those those exciting things I've already talked about. So um, yeah, it's just it's just different. Um, but uh, but yeah, ready to move on and, and just just build on on what we've started in 2021. Adam, what are your thoughts just kind of on the season that Dalvin Cook had, and how important was it that he stayed you know healthy the season? He had the little groin thing, but obviously you know, much more healthier than he had been in some previous seasons. Yeah, well, I mean, he's he's an unbelievable football player, one of the top players in the NFL and all of the NFL. Um, and, and to have him on our team, it, it's just it's just so fun to be around him, uh, see him work, see him play in games. And, and uh, just, uh, you know, he, he, the things he does, it's like every, ga every game you're kind of surprised, like, wow, that was impressive. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, him as a, a locker room guy, as a leader, it's, it's just really fun to be around him. And, and uh, it, like I said before, it's, it's fun to see guys like that uh, have success. And I know he will moving forward. And um, uh, he's a big reason why I'm excited for next year. Adam, now that the season's over, can you reflect back on the team bringing Jefferson in to replace Diggs? And in your opinion, did that – play out better than you expected? Because it's not every year that a rookie puts out a season like that, and you can't guarantee you're going to hit a home run in the draft like that. But for being able to see how it panned out versus maybe what your initial expectations or you know any sort of apprehensions were when that whole thing went down a couple months ago. Yeah, I didn't, didn't necessarily know what to expect. Uh, but but I've, I've said this before, you know, the, the moment uh, I first saw him run routes, catch the football, uh, I knew there was something special there. Um, and so uh, did I think he was going to break every record uh, and be one of the best receivers in the NFL this year? I don't know. That's, that's like you said, it's pretty tough to do as a rookie. Um, but, uh, but it's been fun to watch. Uh, it's been fun to be part of, um, uh, again, another guy that, that, that you, you kind of cheer for and, and, and you're excited for him to have success just because of the locker room guy he is, the guy he is every single day, the smiley that he brings and, um, you know, his presence, man, it, it affects people around him. So uh, it's pretty cool. Hey, Adam, I don't know if it's, you know, too early to ask this, but just when you think about kind of even back as early as the spring when there was so much uncertainty as to if a season would happen, what it would look like, um, what have you, do you have any thoughts just as far as, you know, making it through the season with all the COVID protocols and whatnot? Any thoughts on just how you guys accomplished that as a team? Yeah, obviously uh, excited to, to uh, get all, all the games in, obviously, and, and not have too many hiccups. Um, you know, if you had asked me, if, you, if I would have had to bet on it before the season, it, it would have been a tough one because uh, you just, just, like you said, so much unknown. And with all the protocols and everything going on, it was, it was kind of a mess. But, um, but uh, like I said, glad to, glad to be here now and, and had all the games played and excited to watch the playoffs. And, and uh, you know, hopefully they can finish strong and and get through the Super Bowl, and then and then hopefully it's back to normal next year. I mean, we need we need fans in the stands. We need we need football back to football with with the excitement that that brings and uh, the energy it brings. Man, I miss it, and I know my teammates miss it. And and uh, like I said, excited to to have the fans back and 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 be back to back to normal. Adam, last night Kirk pointed question, out the fact. Couple? Last night, Kirk pointed out the fact that one of the reasons why Justin had such a prolific rookie year was the fact that you were on the other side and teams had to take account for you. And you had 14 touchdowns. And that's the best you've had in the league. What does that say about the dual threat? You're having one of your best years in a year that had Dalvin do so well. Uh, I know that that just shows how overall 
deep this offense can be, but just how it's, it doesn't just take one person to help Justin Jefferson. It takes m more than that. Yeah, well, uh, number there's a few things I could go off that. Uh, number one, you know, Justin's a heck of a football player, and and uh, he he would have success uh, without me, uh, without anybody around him. That guy is special, and and, uh, and he's just um, he's he's one of the best in the league. And uh, but then on top of that, you know, um, as an offense, uh, you need guys. You need you need multiple people that can get, that can threaten the defense. And if you don't have that. Um, it makes it really, really, really difficult. Um, I, I got a bunch of flack for it a, f a few years ago uh, when I said that, that you can't just run the ball, you gotta be able to throw the ball. Or, I, I can't remember exactly what I said, but, um, but it's so true. You have to be, you have to be able to uh, run the ball. You have to be able to throw the ball. You have to be able to be um, very versatile. You have to be able to um, spread the ball around. That's the only way you can have success. On, on the offensive side of the ball in this league. And, uh, you know, the more guys you have, like Justin and Delvin and Irv and Conk and Rudy, and, and uh, I know I'm missing people, and, uh, but, but it's, 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 it's just you need that, and we have that. So uh, another exciting thing for, to look forward to for next year. And how do you feel about your 14 touchdowns, though? I mean, one of the top figures in the league this year. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you know, that's what you work for. Um, it's why I uh, go back to work right when the season's over to try to help this team win games. Um, so that's probably, you know, it's kind of a weird thing because obviously I didn't do enough to, to help this team win. Uh, so, so I got to go back to work, figure that out, uh, try to become a better, uh, better player, more complete player, and, and do more to help this team win. Uh, but uh, like you said, um, yeah, there's, there's positives to look at, but um, there's a lot of things to work on. With what you said about, you know, you have a lot of weapons on the outside, guys that can catch the ball. Do you think that maybe going into next year, just knowing that this is a run first offense and, and Kirk reiterated it yesterday when talking about the success that Justin had, that there might or maybe there's a hope that there are more opportunities to get involved in the passing game and to see maybe, a, I don't know if it's a shift in, in that. Is that something that you hope for, just knowing how many guys you have as weapons in the passing game that might be utilized more frequently in, in certain respects? Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, you got to do what you have to do to win ball games. That's At the end of the day, that's all that matters. And so whatever that takes, and, and, and I'm not smart enough to know what that is, uh, that's why I go out there and, and they tell me the play and I go do it. Uh, but but like, like you said, you know, I think you have to, in this league, you have to use um, um, you know, you have to give your, your weapons opportunities. Um, and, and when you do that and, and, and your best players are getting the ball, uh, usually it leads to, to team success. So um, obviously uh, Delvin's one of the best in the league and we have like weapons around, uh, you know, for Kirk to be able to find. And, and uh, so we have, have it there. We just got to figure out the best way to, to, to do that and, and to spread it around. And, and again, whatever it takes to win, um, I know every single person on this team would, would say, let's do that. So we got to figure out what that is.